is it embarrassing that I'm on TikTok, really? Let me ask you a question. Do you tell all your friends that your dad's on TikTok? No, because I don't have TikTok. <laughs> so I don't the, even have Facebook. So I'm the only one only with... Step over me for the social media. I'm the only one with TikTok? This brain's giving me blisters. Well, you ain't always got to ride it. I mean, you can drive a car like everybody else. <laughs> Face the right, face forward. Can I see? Get back! I think I just broke an axle. Oops. No, it didn't rattle all the fuck. Try it again. Yep. I just broke my axle. Yep. This is not cool. Jesus. <gasps> what is going on? Oh my god. 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 Oh my, god. Ah! <sighs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm going to fucking kill you. I see you. I ain't as dumb as you think that I thought that I was. God damn it. I ain't as dumb as that you think was. Fuck. You think that I'm as dumb as I think I look. God damn it. Shit. Fuck. Oh, I want to go buy a pack of cigarettes. Don't buy cigarettes. They're a waste of money. You're a waste of money. I should have swallowed. <sighs> oh, sorry, not sorry. Hey. Do something that shows your age and don't say anything. <laughs> Name? Frank Fence Post. Address? Where do I live? Yeah, where you live. I live where the land meets the sky, where the eagle and the raven fly free. I live under the sun and the moon. Where do you live? I'm his neighbor. Oh, when you sleep with a single mother for the first time. <gasps> Tell your kids to start calling me daddy. Dad, there's a TikTok trend where you put an egg under a container and we take turns going back yeah, and forth. Yeah, I know, I know, I've seen it. You don't have to tell me. I know how you it know works. You know how this works? I know how it works. Watch. Why did you do that? Try this again. What is that? Oh, if we break another egg, I'd rather eat it. That's not how it works. What is this? Well, I told you I'm not wasting any precious eggs. That's not how the game works. Is this a real egg this time? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. No, we're, we're done. No, we're done. We're done. We're done. Now, some people might think it's insane to put a 12 valve Cummins in a 2015 Mustang. And to me, I don't think that's insane at all. But what I do think is insane is to put close to 1,200 horsepower worth of turbos on it. Yeah. It smells like you're in season. Do you want to breed? Like dogs? <laughs> So we're finally having some constructive conversations about race, and as a biologist, I want to throw in my two cents. You see, humans first evolved about 200,000 years ago in East Africa. We are all Africans, and the very first humans were black. This is because darker skin contains more melanin, which blocks out UV light and protects folic acid, so you can have healthier babies. Then, my ancestors moved way up north where there isn't a lot of direct sunlight, and if you don't have enough UV light, you get horrible bone deformities, so we had to get lighter skin so we could have strong bones. Every defining racial feature that you can think of has an evolutionary history like this, and there's actually more genetic diversity within races than there are between them. This is important because as a kid, I was always taught that race is a very real thing, but it doesn't matter and you shouldn't talk about it. But the reality is that the opposite is true. Race is totally made up, but it's very important to people and we should absolutely be talking about it. The point of all this is, as a scientist, when I say that we're all a family, I freaking mean it. 
All right, TikTok, uh, like one of the main goals of this trip across Ontario was to find this one thing um, that I came across on TikTok, and here it is. There we have it, the pizza vending machine. We're gonna order pizza and uh, have some dinner. All right, here we go, about to order. I'm gonna get the barbecue chicken. We want it hot. And then we're, we're gonna pay for it. All right, so now we've ordered, we've paid, and we just have to wait for it to come out. We're waiting for our pizza. There's a status bar telling us how quickly it's gonna be ready. It smells great already. And here's the pizza. That's awesome. So I grew up out in the sticks and when you grow up close to any kind of nature, the parenting technique that people go to the most is to tell their kids just to go outside. And so my brothers and I spent a lot of time outside and we'd be so far away from the house that we got to the point where we were like, we don't really want to go back to go to the bathroom. So we just kind of made it a habit to do it in nature. And one day our city cousin came out to visit and she was like, I need someone to walk me back to the house because I don't know where it is and I have to pee. And we were like, oh, Emily, just find a friendly bush to do it on. And she thought that was disgusting. But we're good at peer pressure, so we talked her into it. And her biggest concern was that there was no toilet paper out there, so we explained to her there's a thimbleberry bush with big soft leaves. Just use those. They'll be great. And we sent her off into the woods to experience defecating outside for the very first time. And a few minutes later, we hear a scream. And it turns out that she couldn't tell the difference between the thimbleberry leaves and the stinging nettle leaves. You know what happened on my hike yesterday, you all were wondering? Hiking. That's it. You thought he was going to strangle me and throw me over a cliff? That would require touching me. So anyway, I'm in the gas station this morning. I just filled up and I'm buying some gum. I'm standing in line. And this elderly lady turns around. She was paying first and she just kept looking at me. And I was like, oh, maybe she thinks she knows me, but she was so cute. Everything matched, or she, you know how they do. Um, and so she, she finishes paying and she leans, she literally took two steps towards me, leans in close. And I was like, what's going on? And she goes, those tattoos, they're gonna look like shit when you're my age, you know? I was like, like this happened. I was like, took out a piece of gum, gave it to her, I was like, first of all, You've got breath that would make a train take a dirt road. And second of all, you'll likely be dead by then, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs>